I look on the west side of town. I've got it zoomed in right over 435. This just north of Corporate Woods, and you can see westbound, eastbound commuters moving just fine for this morning. But certainly those roads are glistening, and you're going to find a lot of wet pavement as you're heading out the doorway for your Monday morning commute. We're at 49 degrees right now, and our winds are holding their own out of the south at 18 miles an hour. And those winds are expected to hold their own through this afternoon. Temperatures really aren't going to move much. Maybe a 10 degree climb. From where we're at right now, with 48 as you're heading out the door, middle 50s by the lunch hour through this afternoon, a high of 58 degrees. And although we could certainly see an isolated light area of rainfall in the middle part of your Monday, best chances for rainfall for the next 24 hours will be for the short term from now through about 8 a.m. And then as we're moving towards the evening hours, late evening hours, especially as we're moving towards tonight. Here is a look at first alert radar right over the 435 loop. And although we do have some breaks, we do still have some light to moderate rain continuing across our area from areas right along the state line through, say, uh, close to Roland Park, areas near Prairie Village, extending through Town Center, and then right down 49 from Grandview down through Belton High School. These showers and even moderate areas of rain continue for areas of Lee Summit this morning as well. North of the river, that's where the other cluster is, and moderate rainfall across the immediate metro from Clay Como, Gladstone, Liberty, right over the north side of Independence. For Jackson County commuters. Speaking of which, from Blue Springs on eastbound along I 70, you're going to find not only a wall of rainfall from here through Columbia and St. Louis, but moderate rainfall at that. Where you see the pockets of yellow, that's some good moderate rain that's falling this morning. And it basically begins at Kansas City and extends all the way close to St. Louis for this morning. And the Missouri side is where we're going to see the moisture. I think from now through 9 a.m., this is where we're going to be dealing with more wet pavement. On the Kansas side of the state line, you can see things trying to dry out, and I do think that will be the general trend from west to east. We're going to try to dry things out as we're moving through this morning. For the short term, that 50% chance of rain, that means half of our viewing area and mainly on the Missouri side. Isolated areas of showers, not out of the question, but chances of rain fairly low for the middle part of the day and then quickly climbing, especially after 7 o'clock tonight and after 10 p.m. is when we'll see those chances of rain returning. So here's our moisture this morning moving out of here. A lot of cloud cover for today and then Notice by 10 o'clock, moisture returns and not only showers, the difference between uh, last night and tonight, thunderstorms. I can't rule that out. Overnight tonight through 6 a.m. tomorrow, a lot of your Tuesday, especially the first half, could be wet. And then as we're moving towards Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening, we'll begin to dry things out. But on the tail end of this storm system, I think we could still see a few very light, isolated wraparound around showers as we're moving into your Wednesday. I've got it tagged at about a 20 percent chance of rainfall for Wednesday with high of 56 degrees. Thursday and Friday were dry and then a quick burst of moisture. I've got a 30 percent chance of rain and a few snowflakes mixing in potentially to begin the weekend. Not enough to impact travel, but certainly grass.